23 teams from around Northeast Ohio gathered at Canton Country Day for the 2009 First Lego League Regional Robotics Tournament. They came from as far away as Mansfield, Chardon, and Youngstown to test their skills. Tournament director Bill Donovan explains the judging. The teams will compete in four categories, research, teamwork, technical, and then they will have their table competition, which is the part that everybody sees where the robots compete for points at the table. For the Glenwood Eaglebots, it's their third trip to the competition, and they're hoping that 2009 will be the year to finally take home one of these. Okay, first of all, we have the Eaglebots. Competing against the Eaglebot today will be Green Swarm. Again, our main smart move, transportation challenges. How are we going to deal with transportation in the future? Try to do the in their final robot positioning. There's home base. Home base is very important. They'll come back after missions for home base. And they're off. This is the first round, the first competition, the first round. All right, we, we have some loop uh, grabbing over here. Oh, wow, look at that, man. They got a loop already. They brought it home to the home base. This is a, a very, very complex mission this year. Very, very difficult to determine what process. You'll notice that everybody's robot is different. Everybody has these odd-looking arms and attachments, obviously for mission-specific activities. Uh, they've um, programmed their computers accordingly, and, they, and uh, it's just really good. Very, very challenging. I forget, you guys have been here before, haven't you? Yes. Um, one. Okay, so this is your second year? Cool. Oh, good, good to see you. I thought you were too late. Smart move. All right, we have put the loop. Nice job, excellent. And it really is takes a lot of concentration. Well, it's kind of a multiple attempt over there. So I guess you can do more than one mission at one time. We are probably getting pretty close to the end of the first uh, first competitive round. One minute. One minute left. And, and if you notice up here in the video, that's pretty awesome. Huh? So we really get a chance to see what these two guys are doing. Dr. Salarelli is our official timekeeper. Remember, I think she says, she's just doing the timekeeper. Okay, we have less than a half a minute left. Okay, let's hear it for him. All right. Green Swarm and Eagle Watch. Great job, guys. Thank you for a very, very fine opening round. Thank you. At the end of round one, they sit tied for fifth with the Robo Bees of Mount Vernon. So far, we're we first. did fine, yeah. and we got a few things I think we're going to do better. So far, we're first. Mark, and if not, we're having fun. After a disappointing second round score of 145, the Eagles have one more shot at it. All right. All right, listen guys, it's an awfully quiet. Now I'm thinking there's a real need to support our team, so let's hear it. Okay? Let's hear it, cheer on each other on. All right?
The team is happy, and it's reflected in their score of 190, their best of the day. It assures them of a spot in the top 10, and Coach Rick Oyster is pleased. This last week has been beautiful. Our team meshed together, and in our team activity, I couldn't have been more proud of them. They were all supporting each other. It didn't matter what mistakes were made. They said, keep on going, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, what a super team. I'm, I'm thrilled. It's amazing to see the growth in the kids year to year. Um, Brandon took a leadership role this year and best strategist we've ever had when we went to the table because he knew his stuff. Malcolm came right in on the programming, um, kind of took the spot BJ had last year in the programming. Um, Clay Curran, fifth grader, I've looked to see great things from him. He's picked up on the programming end and every, you know, the whole team, Devin, all the guys, Andrew, I can't even think of the names right now, I'm so nervous, but um, everybody picked up where we needed to and um, probably more rewarding than the contest is seeing the growth in these guys. During the award ceremony, they patiently wait as other teams get the call. Then, it's the moment they've waited for. Our sixth award is the recent quality award. This year's award goes to the Eagle Box.